Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Last time on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, we had Bucciarati is coming. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, we continued on with the fight between Giorno and Bruno. And uh, that was interesting. We got a little bit of how Golden Wind works. I don't get it still. It's mainly like, okay, if Golden Wind touches an inanimate object it will become a living object i get that but if golden wind punches someone they are supercharged with energy so then they get delirium but that like pushes them outside of their body like dr strange i don't know we also got how zipper man works which is he zips things. He, he makes... He, he basically, a zipper appears and you open up whatever is in there. Whatever whatever you're opening. Yeah. Um, but uh, Jorno did not end up beating Bruno, kind of. Uh, um, basically, uh, Jorno doesn't want to kill Bruno. And he says that Bruno doesn't want to kill him. Because he has a good heart. And so, uh, the two are going to possibly team up and Jorno is going to join the mafia because he wants to get to the top of the mafia and reform it for uh to save the people basically yes that is the goal we have is to reform the mafia which is a very interesting way of doing this uh you know if we look at the plot lines of previous parts uh, part one, stop Dio. Part two, stop the Pillarman. Part three, stop Dio again. Part four, uh, dick around until you find the serial killer. Part five, reform the mafia. Okay. Well, hey, man, it's it's new, it's interesting, and I'm I'm ready for that. I'm new, ready for new and interesting, and I've enjoyed uh, the first two episodes of this part so far, and. Really enjoying uh, the location, too. I just absolutely love being in Italy uh, this time around. So, yeah. I guess that's pretty much it. Like always, the reaction is down in the description and in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. So let's go ahead and jump right into this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Here we go. Okay. Alrighty. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. I'm trying to think what. Okay. He has an arrow. So. There's already that. Pulpo has an arrow. Perhaps. What normally happens is someone without a stand joins the gang. They they try to join uh, the Passione, the Mafia, but they go through this test, and but the real I suppose the real test is the arrow. And if they get the stand, they survive. If they don't, they die. So those, so that would mean that everyone in the Passione has a stand. So, I mean, could, could Giorno just like skip that step? Because he doesn't need the arrow. He already has a stand because of his heritage with Dio. I guess... I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see next episode, but... Uh, interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, interesting stuff in this episode, definitely. So... Um... Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, to go into the notes, uh, we have everything with, you know, he wants to reform the Passione. And... I like how, 
I immediately like Bucciarati as a character because, you know, they go through this whole thing of, you know, no, you are a good, a good person and stuff like that. But I like how, while he will allow Giorno to do this and he will allow him to try to reform everything and defeat the boss... It makes sense, though, that he is, you know, he's only willing to go so far with Jorno. And he will, you know, if Jorno is revealed, he's on his own. He cannot expect help from Bruno. So that makes sense. Um, and then we have the boss. Nobody knows uh, who he is or what he looks like. Um, he just sends down orders. And one of those... Uh, one of those, I guess, you know, lieutenants or whatever is Pulpo. Interesting guy. So, Pulpo, I mean, I can't even think what his stand is, you know? And it may not even be that, it may not even be that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what his stand could be, you know? Obviously, that at the end is his stand, but I don't, I can't even fathom what his, uh what his powers are but he kind of reminds me a bit of uh chili pepper and otoshi from part four because or i guess you could also say uh keicho nijimura because because yeah it it's sort of the same thing of this sort of long range stand going out and you know using the arrow and stuff like that um so yeah it, it reminds me of that and he seems to be yeah just the keeper of the arrow but why like i guess that's just part of the initiation but if that's the case and that means every stand every member of the passione is a stand user you know which that has to be like a lot that has to be a lot of friggin uh that has to be a lot of friggin people so that's pretty crazy but yeah so we had the interview and uh, him living in the prison and uh, living like a king, which is interesting. I'm trying to think of like another uh, character or something where it's like, oh, they're in prison, but you know, they just stay there to stay there. You know, like they don't care, but they're living like a king anyway in the prison. Um, I don't know. I can't think of it, but. I know there are other examples in fiction, but yeah, but that, but that's interesting. Um, and then, so we have the whole test of trust with the flame. He had to go 24 hours without that flame, uh, going out. And it sounds like he made it about one hour. Yeah. Uh, but it was interesting him getting past the police by, uh, turning the lighter into a flower but then keeping the flame going within the petals itself. Uh, that was very, very clever. Uh, I like that. And then uh, having to deal with getting the lighter back at the dorm was pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, and we get another appearance of Koichi in this episode, uh, getting his passport back and stuff. Um, not really, he wasn't really there to do anything plot related or find Jorno or question him or anything. He just... Just there to get his passport. Just there to get his passport. And he almost ruined everything. But uh, Jorno managed to uh, get that back with Golden Wind. Um, and again, it is still very interesting. Uh, I like, too, that uh, the stuff that he creates, specifically when he creates animals, he has no control over those animals that he creates with Golden Wind. Uh, and that's a really interesting thing. Because he said that about the frog. Uh, when he was like, oh, I didn't... I didn't think this frog would come back to me. Um, and the snake here is like, oh, yeah, I thought you might like that bread. So, um, so yeah, that was really, really interesting. That um, it, It's a really interesting thing. It, basically, the, trans, the transformation of different things, I understand and I, I like that about Golden Wind. It's an interesting power. How that worked against Bruno last episode, I still don't get that. But we'll just have to wait and see if that gets any better. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, we had the whole thing with the dorm and Koichi and uh, and then the old man. Uh, excuse me. And I would almost wonder, like, you know. Um, 
see, I, I don't know. Because the whole thing is like, oh, you reignited the lighter, you know? So now you have to face the judgment. I, I don't know. I don't fully understand it, basically. I don't fully understand it. But yeah, but um, but whatever Pulpo's stand is specifically removes the soul from the body and then pierces the soul with the arrow. And then if they if they can't manifest a stand, they die. So I was kind of wondering too, because see, I've always wondered in part four when Koichi is pierced by the arrow, it takes him a while before he gets back up. But I've always wondered could Koichi actually manifest a stand or was it because Josuke healed him with shining diamond you know thereby you know because he was saved by shining diamond it manifested a stand anyway you know and I'm not really sure about that and that's not a dig on Koichi like oh he can't even manifest a stand probably that's not a dig on Koichi I'm just curious about that but I was also wondering with uh with the old man like could Jorno, you know, use Golden Wind to give this man, you know, energy and life, and that would bring him back, revive him, and or and even kind of revive him before he fully dies. But then I guess this old man would get a stand, and that'd be kind of weird, just having this old guy with a stand. But whatever. Um, but yeah, that's something I would kind of wonder too, you know. Which I guess at that point, can Golden Wind heal a person like Shining Diamond? I don't know. I don't know. But either way, uh, the old man is dead uh, because he could not manifest a stand. And now uh, the stand is after Jorno. Uh, but Jorno already has a stand. And I mean, I guess he could get hit by the arrow again. Kira did. And he got bites the dust. But if that were to happen to Jorno, it's kind of early. Like, we don't even... I don't even fully understand Golden Wind, let alone Golden Wind... Bites the dust. I don't know. I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what the reference is for Golden Wind. And I know, like, isn't it in the Japanese it's Golden Experience? Or it's, it's Gold Experience. Which is not that great of a name. Golden Wind, I think, is a lot better. Um, but yeah, but I, I don't know. I can't make any sort of reference like uh, Deadly Queen Bites the Dust. Um, so yeah, interesting stuff. Very, very interesting stuff. This was bit of a shorter discussion but um but yeah there's not a ton of things to really go over in this one i feel like honestly when it when it hit you know the to be continued i was like oh that's it okay i thought there was gonna be a bit more but nope that's just pretty much it so we'll have to see i mean i have no idea what popo stan can do you know like i can't even fathom like is it even related to him being that fat i don't know so We'll just have to see next time. But yeah, short discussion, but sometimes that happens. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around to any of those. There's a playlist for all of my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reactions, as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.